Hey folks, this is part two for getting started with tabroom.com for students and competitors. At this point, you should have already created a tabroom.com account and been added to your team's roster by giving your coach your tabroom.com email address. If you need help with that, watch our previous video talking about how to make that account. Once you've been added to your team's roster, you can now be entered to compete in tournaments. But what do you do once you've been entered in a tournament and how do you join your debate round? That's what this video is going to be talking about. Let's jump right into the process. So now it's the day of the tournament. You've created your account. You've been entered in a tournament. How do you join your debate? Well, it starts here at the homepage of tabroom.com. You want to make sure that you're signed in. You know you're signed in if you see your email in the top right corner. When pairings come out, you'll get an email that tells you who you'll be competing against and a text as well. Sometimes there may be issues with receiving text messages, so make sure that you see your email. On the day of the tournament, you'll receive email updates before every round, letting you know where to go and who your opponents will be, as well as other information such as your judge and round start time. Your email will look like this. It will list off the affirmative team, the negative team, who the judge is, and the start time for the round, as well as the room that you'll be competing in. You will also receive a text if you put your number in your tabroom.com profile that will look like this. It's all the same information, however, sometimes the text messages could be finicky, so make sure that you primarily keep an eye on your email when it gets close to round start times. Generally, I will aim to have pairings out at least 30 minutes ahead of the round, if not earlier. So now you've received your notifications for where to go, how do you actually get into the room? In order to do that, you need to go to tabroom.com. You wanna make sure you're signed in with the email that you gave your coach, and you'll see that email here in the top right corner. To enter your debate room, click on that email, and you should see the round right here. To join to the debate, it's very simple. Simply click on the blue camera button. When you click on that button, it will take you to a room that looks like this. When you enter the room, you'll see five people, including yourself. Those five people are you, your partner, your two opponents, and the judge. At this point, the debate proceeds like any in-person tournament. The 1AC starts the debate, you go through the full round, the 2AR concludes the debate, and the judge gives feedback. When the debate's over, just close the round out and wait for the next one. During the tournament, you may run into some connectivity problems from your internet or your computer. Don't worry, each team has 10 minutes of what we call tech time to be able to help resolve that issue. So if within those 10 minutes you could get reconnected to your debate, it will continue without penalty. If the issue will take longer than 10 minutes to resolve, please text the helpline or fill out the Google form on the tab room page. We understand that a lot of these technical issues that you may run into are out of your control. So we will do our best to make sure that you still have the opportunity to compete. But we also wanna make sure that we keep the tournament on time for everyone else. So even if one round needs to end because of technical issues, if we get it fixed before the next round, it won't disqualify you from the rest of the event. You can also message us on the Lambda Discord where Debaters, coaches, and staff will be hanging out between rounds. And that's it. I hope this visual guide helps you figure out how to connect to your debates, and I look forward to hosting tournaments with you all throughout this year. Talk to you later.